Musashi. Seven inch. Sharp. Dangerous. And I like a big shear. This is a. So I'm Steve. This is my friend Dan. I've been doing this for 40 years, so I consider myself an expert. How long have you owned your salon? 17, 27, 30 years. 32, 33 maybe. So, and I've been in the same location, or within a quarter of a mile of here for the whole time, so I'm pretty well established. So I started working for Sebring back in 1978, and we used nine inch shears made in the Philippines. The problem with them was that they were crummy steel, so an edge wouldn't stay on them very long. We had a jig in the back room with a file on it. We'd just go back there a couple times a week, put the shear in the jig, file them sharp, and take off again. Back in those days, when you weren't using Philippine shears, you'd be using German steel shears. That was the hot thing from, I guess it was finally around uh, mid 80s. They started importing shears from Japan and they were wicked sharp. And the grade of steel was vastly improved even over German steel. So they would hold an edge longer and longer. And these have just what I look for in a shear. It feels like a knife, a hot knife cutting through butter. Very sharp. I like a long shear too because of the, uh, the energy involved. You can cut more hair with a long blade than with a short blade. If I had a little four inch shear now, I'd be going choppa 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 choppa. And after 40 years of cutting with a short blade, you would find that you'd have carpal tunnel or arthritis or something going on. Big shear like this has more energy. Later on, I became a, a fan of uh, Horst Reckelbacher. Nothing but big shears from Horst. And then after that, Yosh Toya out of San Francisco. You can see I use big tools, I like big combs, I must, huh? big scissors. I imagine you want me over on the wood rack. <laughs> it speeds things up. Why, uh, hold the corners in this leg. The well, points of these are very sharp, which is, I do a lot of point cutting, pretty shallow point cutting, but. And on top of that, I picked up a head cold. <laughs> so they say you want to arrange it for us. Yeah. Well, I've been minute. dealing with some domestic problems. Oh, you know Yeah. Jeez. They used to say there was, when Sassoon came out, they use tiny shears. They said that was more accurate, but I don't see it. I don't get why it would be. I can cut fine lines with a long shear. My next door neighbor, she's been very friendly to Rachel. I'm sure a great mother, I guess you'd say. Because she'd go over and visit with Kim, and Kim would have her eat, and you know, so. But, Day before yesterday, uh, a piece of mail 
Let me do a little scissor over comb here as well. Another good reason to have a long shear. A piece of mail had been uh, delivered to my house to belong to her, and she was out in the yeah, front. These are wicked sharp. Door, so I walked over. Of course, the one danger with a long shear is the, the knuckles every once in a while. Yeah, she went downtown to live with her ex-boyfriend. A little blood. It happens. She says, yes, she's in jail. Fingers and ears, Steve. Fingers and ears. Your fingers, his ears. Yeah. It happens. She, uh, yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, let's try a little scissor over comb. Well, anyway, she had a run in and, uh, And what are the advantages of scissors over comb? Well, it yeah, gives a close cut. It feathers the edges, makes the hair blend together very nicely in a shortcut. It's it's prettier than a machine cut using a clipper or something. I've always considered that a cheap shot. You only need two tools to cut hair, right? You need a comb and some scissors. Clippers, meh. Now that's a Musashi 7 inch shear. How's that doing for you for the scissors Excellent. over comb? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. You can see that just lays just so pretty. Nice. I can get it as close as I want. I can get it clipper cut close if I want, but I think Dan's wife would come unglued if she saw that. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Yep, it's excellent. Very nice shear. Of course, just you know, physically. You have a, a lever there, you know, a pivot point, and uh, if the shear was short, I'd be losing all the energy. This transfers a lot of energy to the point when it's that long. Quick work of that. Let's see. And then the decision point is going to be just detailing the cut. Of course, this all has to be on the point, so the point's got to be sharp, and they're, they're very sharp. Nice. Just like, like I said before, it's like a hot knife through butter. A lot of longer shears won't do that. Well, he was pretty straight air. He was just trying to spend a lot of money on cars. You know, he was just a kid at heart. But he was honest. Very nice. I like them.
always like to think about the original, the original barber. It was a caveman. He took care of the little caveman community, but he used rocks. He didn't have scissors. They'd come to him with their hair all matted up, full of bugs and dirt. He'd lay him down, take his rock, and smash the hair to get it off their head. So is this an improvement over there? He didn't use tiny rocks. No, he used a big rock. Crunch. The advantage of big tools. I can move out. Let's do a little checky checky here. Excellent. Smooth. I like a real straightforward design too. Just enough offset to make it comfortable. I don't know what to do with those with all the holes in them and all the swivels and all that. It's just not necessary. So that's that. We'll try out the razor here. Editing work. So this is about as old school as you can get here. In fact, this was part of my original kit. And this is about as new school as you can get. Musashi razor. Sharp once again. The tickle. Mm -hmm. Pretty smooth. Smooth. Little bump there. like surgically sharp. How does, how does it feel compared to a more standard razor? I like the weight of it, you know. The one I normally use is, is uh, has a steel handle. It's just not real comfortable. This is very nicely designed, smooth. I can see this would be good for hair cutting. I'm going to shift a little bit. Okay. Add some weight in it. So, Steve, would you recommend the Musashi shear and the Musashi razor to stylists and barbers? Absolutely. Good tools. Very good tools. really nicely. I like them a lot.